वेलकम टू डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग एस आई आर टी भोपाल आई एम डॉक्टर अमित आभास एंड दिस इज ब्रीफ डिस्क्रिप्शन अबाउट माई क्वालिफिकेशन सो इन द टूडे सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू सी अबाउट द पेल्टन टर्वाइन एंड द फंक्शन ऑफ पेल्टन टर्वाइन एंड हाउ इट विल बी ऑपरेटेड एंड ऑल्सो द वेरियस कंपोनेंट एंड हाउ विल विल ड्रॉ द वेलॉसिटी ट्रैंगल means inlet triangle as well as outlet outlet triangle so we will bifurcate the complete session of pelton turbine into two parts in the first part some portion will see in the first lecture and some of the other portion will see in the next lecture so let's start the session what is a pelton turbine at first introduction regarding the pelton turbine then after we'll go for next uh, uh, that how it will be operated and what are the components um, uh, so at first the first point is the pelton turbine or uh, also known as pelton wheel is a impulse type uh, water turbine invented by american inventor it's uh, Le lester allen pelton in 1870s so basically the after the name of uh, एलन पेल्टन इट इट इज नेम्ड एज पेल्टन व्हील और पेल्टन टर्बाइन सो नेक्स्ट इज द पेल्टन व्हील एक्सट्रैक्ट एनर्जी फ्रॉम द इम्पल्स ऑफ मूविंग वॉटर मीन्स बेसिकली वॉट वी डू वी आर जस्ट कंस्ट्रक्टिंग अ डैम टू सो दैट द कंप्लीट कैनेटिक एनर्जी विल बी कन्वर्टेड इन टू पोटेंशियल एनर्जी इन टर्म्स ऑफ हेड ऑफ वॉटर वी हैव जनरेटेड देयर and then then that potential energy will be converted into the impulse impulse is basically what when a huge amount of force is uh, you know uh, directed towards uh, for a fractional uh, period of time that will generate the impulse and uh, due to that impulse the complete runner will rotate and that due to that rotation runner power will generate and then on the basis of that power the shaft power will be generated and due to that a shaft power the generated power will be generated so these are the basic uh, you know uh, cycle of the pelton uh, turbine so how it will be operated the operation of a pelton turbine is fairly simple in this type a uh, turbine high speed jet of water emerges from the nozzle that uh, surrounds the turbine and these nozzles are arranged so that the water jet will hit the bucket at a splitter the center of the bucket where the water jet is divided into two streams how it will be look like we will see we will see just after this one and the complete uh, you know setup is looking like this this is the headrest you know uh, the complete without any loss this is also called as gross head gross head of a pelton turbine basically since pelton turbine is a high head and low discharge type of turbine that's why always you will found the head is very high as compared to the other turbine okay so just go through this one and due to since from the dam when water will flow through this channel this is known as pen stroke and this is the dam we have constructed there is a head loss due to friction you can find out easily using the darcy weisbach equation which is uh, i think uh, you, you if you have gone through in the fluid mechanics that is fl v square upon 2 gd this is the major head loss due to friction uh, given by the darcy weisbach so uh, uh, from there you calculate this hf head loss due to friction and just subtract subtracted from the total head you will get the working head of that uh, power plant this is a pen stroke through uh, which uh, the water will flow into the nozzle and what is the function of nozzle basically you should know about this that the function of nozzle is to convert the pressure energy into kinetic energy the, uh, and here you can see this is the net head i have shown here and from here when the nozzle water passes through the nozzle since it its main function is to convert the pressure energy into kinetic energy the velocity of water will be increased drastically and that will uh, going to you know that will strike to the runner which is having a shape of bucket 
and due to that you know tangential force developed on the runner this entire uh, runner along with the shaft will rotate and here the runner power will be generated and before that there will be a shaft power that is also very much important you should know about that water power here initial at initial stage water power is there then after runner power is there and after runner power runner power it it may loss uh, some mechanical losses will be there while it will transmit the uh, uh, what motion rpm to the shaft so the mechanical efficiency will involve and then shaft will rotate and uh, that shaft is coupled with the generator to generate the electricity that is the basic function of a pelton turbine so you should know the complete uh, working so finally in very brief i am going to describe it right now and you should listen it very carefully that the initially what you have done means the river is flowing through it you have constructed a dam the entire kinetic energy will be converted into potential energy and that potential energy with the help of pen stroke and no gel that will convert it into kinetic energy and that kinetic energy will impact the bucket to generate the impulse and due to that generated impulse tangential force into radius will generate the rpm of the runner and that due to that runner shaft power will be generated and that's then that shaft power will be utilized to convert it into the uh, what generator power and uh, then uh, where using the various transmission lines you can transmit the electricity uh, at uh, different places so this is the complete uh, analysis of the pelton uh, turbine how it will look like you should know this this, this is the pelton wheel basically this middle por portion is called the splitter and it it is approximately approximately no i should say it as a mirror image man you will put a mirror it it looks like that you have put a mirror in between these two so that this, this will form a mirror image type you know this is the shape of bucket and uh, that's why the inlet triangle as well as the outlet triangle will be uh, same means in at the both uh, age ages i am talking about but uh, basically the inlet triangle will be at the uh, uh, center of uh, the bucket so how it will look like we'll see in the next lecture Thank you on the behalf of Department of Mechanical Engineering, SIRT, the SAGE Group. I am Dr. Amit Thank you once again.